hello friends how are you well uh, I'm not a professional tutorial maker but I recently observed a problem and so I thought that it might help you guys uh, bootstrap 4 is still in a upgrading stage they are making changes so many tutorials regarding bootstrap SAS uh, are getting obsolete so uh, I, I thought that making a tutorial with a fast track might help you in future so uh, to work with SAS first uh, you need to uh, go to this website sas-lang.com uh, here you can learn all about SAS uh, all the variables and other things and to install SAS uh, there are a couple of ways and you can go to the install page of that website and since I'm using Windows 10 so for that I, I would require a Ruby installer well uh, you can just simply download the Ruby installer I'm not going to show you the installation process I've already installed it and it's quite simple it's just pressing the next buttons <coughs> uh, well once you have installed Ruby the second thing uh, what you require is node.js uh, for node.js you can download it from node.js.org uh, uh, guys I'll be putting all these links in the description as well you can simply download it and there is no complication in installing that as well it's simple next 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 and I'm sure you guys can do that part now uh, once you have installed uh, both the things so you are ready to jump to SAS alright so uh, just to save the time I've already created a folder named mentor arts after my website mentorarts.com and uh, we'll be using this folder to, uh, for the project the test project all right so uh, here I created three folders in it CSS JS and SC double S all right the first thing uh, we require is installing bootstrap SAS in this project to do that uh, we have to open the node.js npm command line and uh, let me uh, browse my directory uh, that's g cd projects mentor arts right uh, what we have to do over here is uh, we have to uh, follow the guideline that is being uh, mentioned in the SAS official website that is <coughs> uh, well uh, since you have uh, Ruby so We'll be using gem and guys uh, <coughs> with mac they don't have any issue if if they do uh, find any issue all they have to use is the sudo word before that command so we'll just say gem stall says it might take a moment alright friends with this done SAS would be installed in your system and it's a one time process you don't have to do it again and again for each and every new project and here I would, I would like to tell you a little more uh, if you look into this saslang.com website uh, they've mentioned some softwares over here they are recommending the uh, some are paid and some are free they are also quite good softwares uh, 
they are used to compile SAS. Uh, however, uh, I would not be going into those. Uh, I'll let you guys decide whichever software you like to work with. So, well, uh, when SAS is installed, now it's time to install Bootstrap. To install Bootstrap, you just uh, visit the official Bootstrap website. Hit the download button. It will uh, guide you to the download page, and here they have mentioned many different kind of downloads available. Uh, what we'll be working is is with npm. So just scroll down to the npm section and copy this command. And for Mac guys, if you feel any problem, you just have to use the word sudo prior to this command. And we'll just simply paste that command over here and hit enter ok friends bootstrap is now installed in your system and now you will navigate to the, our project folder there you can see there is a new folder node underscore modules and whatever uh, solutions you do with npm for this folder will be available over here so we have installed bootstrap and there are a couple of folders and files over here and we uh, will be only focusing on this folder scws uh, here are all the files that combinedly create your bootstrap.css file <coughs> uh, uh, as you can see there are two kind of files over here uh, some are starting with an underscore and other are not the ones starting with underscore are partial sas files that means uh, they are a combination of certain styles and they have been and and they are called in bootstrap.sas main file uh, uh, now we are going to see that file so i'm using sublime text but feel free to use whichever editor you like ok it's a very simple file to look at uh, and bootstrap.sas we are just importing all these files nothing else is there so <coughs> what we are going to do is we are going to do the same thing with this file so get back to our project name and over here uh, we created earlier a uh, folder sas and in this folder we are going to create a new file i'm going to name it styles dot c double s you can name whatever you like All right. and over here we are going to import this bootstrap.sas file to do that uh, we are going to use we are going to write this import dot dot slash and we are going to navigate it to this folder node modules bootstrap sas so it would be node underscore modules slash bootstrap slash sas slash bootstrap uh, you can see guys i haven't added the dot css extension for this uh, it is not required all right we are going to save this file and now we are going back to the command line and over here we are going to compile this to compile uh, we just have to uh, this this is also a one-time command 
that is sas space the path to your sas file in our case it's over here so we are going to write slash styles dot and after that there is a colon and now we are going to give it the path where we would like our CSS file to be so we would want it to be in our CSS folder and we are going to name it styles dot CSS hit enter wait for a moment for it to compile all right now it has given an error no such file or directory it means uh, I've made a mistake sas style all right uh, the mistake is in the extension sorry for that enter <coughs> all right so there is no error it means it is com compiled properly now we are going to now check it now we are going to move to our CSS folder and there is this file let's open it in our editor okay. this is just the same file which you get uh, if you simply download the pre-compiled version of bootstrap css right now uh, there is one more thing we will do is we are going to use the same command uh, above with one more syntax that is dash dash watch space what this will do is it will it's going to track any changes we are going to do in our styles.sas file hit enter again alright now the message is there that sas is watching for changes and in case you are done with your changes you, you can simply press ctrl c to stop it or command c okay now we are going to make few changes in this folder so heading back to the node modules bootstrap sas and we are going to make changes for this demo with just the colors so we are going to open this file variables.sas and now uh, this is the file which bootstrap uses to show all its uh, variables and colors as well and you can see that uh, it has over here define the primary color secondary success info what are the colors being used so before we make any changes let's uh, have a demo with the sample bootstrap html and for that uh, uh, just uh, go to the official bootstrap website examples and over here I'm using just a simple jumbotron theme uh, resource we'll copy all this and 
in our project we are going to create a new file index.html and we open it in our editor and we can simply going to paste all this uh, we'll make few changes Uh, we won't be requiring this custom jumbotron CSS so let's remove it and for the CSS we will just be using our own CSS file which we recently created that's in the CSS folder styles uh, in order for bootstrap to work you require jQuery and few of the supporting files as well so <coughs> we can use that also either we can just simply uh, link that are available over here otherwise the best way is to have the latest versions is by npm so back to command prompt over here let's control c for a moment we can start it again later on uh, we are going to install jquery so it would be npm install jquery Now to check uh, for that node modules, all right. There is a jQuery, and over here dist, and there is the file jQuery dot main dot js that we'll be using for our project. Uh, we'll be installing few more js files that are required for Bootstrap. That is. tooltip dot js and one more proper dot js guys do not worry about this these commands I'll mentioning them all those in the uh, description below all right so now in the node module we have four folders bootstrap jquery tooltip and popper what we are going to do is we are going to simply copy the js files mentioned in the this folder for each of the respective ones and I've already did that earlier before starting this tutorial and I have placed these files in the main JS folder including the bootstrap min.js that you can find in the node modules bootstrap dist js folder alright now we are just go uh, going to mention them over here define them so it would be the first one would be uh, the jQuery uh, this is all not required so it would be js slash jQuery and copy it three four the uh, next we will be using pop tooltip and now popper and now the 
bootstrap js we are going to delete all this now save the file and let's view it in our browser alright now it's working perfectly fine now it's time to make few changes so what we'll do is we'll start with the primary color so the primary color is blue what we'll do is uh, before there was there used to be a file uh, people used to just simply copy the variable dot sas and edit it and that was not uh, that is no more required uh, the new way to do that is mentioned in the bootstrap documentation to do that uh, what we will do is we are going to simply write our variables right. uh, now I'm simply going to copy few to explain how this thing works now, uh, we are in the variable.sas file and there are all the colors defined over here and what we will do is we will be working we are just going to copy these two for the demo and <coughs> okay. uh, guys the important thing is you have to place these variables before importing the bootstrap sas file okay, we placed it and now let's change the value for primary we will use a darker red so it's 9 double o and remember to remove this tag default tag and for secondary we will use some dark blue so about eight double zero eight hit save and back to our command prompt and let's start watching again our style sas file and that is already telling us that we have made few changes let's refresh our sample html right guys you can see that the primary color has been changed to dark red and the secondary color is, has also changed to dark blue but, uh, let's change this blue to green so in the text editor we just give another value 080 hit save and let's refresh the screen so it's, it's quite simple and you can make uh, many changes like this all you have to do is you have to just go through this variable.sas file that is available in node modules bootstrap SAS mm, there is so you can make any changes uh, however they have already mentioned certain area that you should not play with that will spoil the whole bootstrap otherwise you can uh, simply copy everything uh, okay uh, just for a demo let's make few more changes right. so link color for link color they are saying primary color this so let's copy it and 
back to our style.sas file hit enter paste and for that uh, we should use we'll something like <coughs> like I'm just going to give a random uh, f8f I don't know what that color is but we'll soon find out hit save do we have any link over here no let's create one in our HTML After Jumbotron, they uh, we created somewhere after this button. There's a button. Let's create a link. Okay. Alright friends, so we, we are just going to use this class in a button, button link, save and let's see our HTML in the browser, let's refresh, oh it's pink color, there. <coughs> guys the possibilities are limitless you can change anything you like and make amazing websites this way and that's it guys and before I end this video uh, for those who are into games and movies based on game characters uh, there is a very good YouTube channel from a friend of mine and that channel is game walker hmm. here you can find lots of good videos of game walkthroughs new cinematic trailers of movies news about the upcoming games and others and just pay a visit and I'm sure you like it thanks for watching the video and please do comment Thanks again guys, have a nice day.